What if I tell you that you can create videos and slideshows directly from your blog post with just one click? Hey, it's Faye. If we haven't met, I'm Faye from Faye's World Media, and I'm here on this channel to teach creators and small business owners just like you to create content strategically without wasting your time and that actually drive real business results. <laughs> In this video, I want to show you how Synthesia's AI Video Assist can help you do exactly that. I'm a blogger, I'm a video creator, but frankly, after posting hundreds of blog posts, I simply do not have the time trying to create a video for each and every single one of them. Synthesia is going to help me do that, and in this video, I'll show you exactly how it's done. Did you know that with video content, not only you can share them directly on social media, condensing down content from a blog post into a very bite-sized digestible piece of video, but you can also embed those videos directly on your blog post as well. And that's going to help you with SEO to watch how the video is generated literally from a single link. There's no copy and pasting your blog post content, manipulating, reformatting them. Literally just a link and then one click, you have an AI avatar driven video. Does it sound too good to be true? Well, it's not. The reality is already here. Let me walk you through the whole process. I'm going to pick out one and this one's related to Microsoft for startups. I think this is a really interesting program where you get a lot of free credits and benefits literally for free for startup founders. Now, what I can do is simply use this feature and transform that blog post text only into video content. Look, I can establish my objectives. I can identify my target audience so that the video will come out with the right flavor and taste targeted for my audience. So now what we're going to do is let's just hit home or if you're already on the home page, you can also hit new video here from here in the middle. This is an incredible AI feature on top of an AI platform, AI video assist. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab a link from my website. And first of all, I can choose the template. So you're going to click on that and just there's so many to choose from, right? And you can just like browse and see what you like, don't like. When I think about Microsoft, I think even the first one, like pretty businessy, that's cool. I'm probably going to use a female character, by the way, if you're not familiar with Synthesia, it, you know, you got hundreds of avatars literally to choose from. So that's something you don't want to miss out on. Okay. So now all I have to do is copy and paste my link, which is my blog post. I can just imagine doing this like repeatedly for 20, 30 blog posts. And now you can choose the length how many scenes you want it to have. So think about the length of your content. It could be very punchy. You know, also think about your output. You know, is this something you want to post on social media? You want to make sure it's less than, you know, 30 seconds or a minute, or if you want it to contain some additional information. So for me, you know, instead of five scenes, I think I'm going to go with 12. It's a lot. I understand. Now from here, you can just generate your video. However, you can fine tune it based on objectives, audience, language, and all that. So I'm actually going to save myself some time to see how quickly you know, Synthesia can figure it out because it's going to really plow through my blog posts. And this one in particular is pretty detailed. You know, we, we do talk about the steps. You do talk about our audience and objectives. So hopefully, you know, it can pick things up pretty quickly. Now I just hit generate the moment you, you change your mind, you can actually hit stop. And what I do like about the setup, as you can see here, it's so simple. It's generating the scenes and it's giving you basically the raw output of like, instead of guessing, you know, what the scenes may be, the text is already there. It's grabbing all the key information from your blog post or from your documents. You know, what you can do is like from here, you can just generate the video. Okay. So it's pretty exciting. Now I'm looking at the scenes. I can scroll through. I can review the text. What I like about this feature is that instead of worrying about AI, like making up or fantasizing or hallucinating, what this feature does is that it actually grabs the content that you have previously produced and in a way sort of summarizing into points and hopefully easier to follow. So I'm going to go ahead and continue in editor. So as you can see from this point on, you can literally just download the video. 
and use it. You can also embed the video. But I'm going to quickly show you the features that are built into Synthesia so that if you want to make any additional edits, it's very easy and very possible. First of all, you can change up your avatar. Um, right now, it has chosen this woman, as you can see, is not just her like chest up, but you can also use another view if you choose to, or change it into a different character altogether. Now, I have a separate video on how to train your custom made avatar. That is you or somebody within your organization or an actor of your choice right here. You know, you can also change up the logo. Uh, I don't think it's that important, so I can just go ahead and just remove the logo everywhere. Other things that it's worth paying attention to is, of course, you can add text uh, as well as adding different shapes. You can also insert your own media right here built into Synthesia. You already have access to these Shutterstock and also icon assets if you choose to. It can definitely be very, very handy and powerful there. And last but not least, you can also record your screen, anything you want to replace with what's already there. For example, for me as a content creator, as a tutorialist, I can see myself trying to, you know, grab some screenshots as well as stream recorded tutorials like I'm doing now. So Synthesia makes it really possible. You don't have to download a third party. It's already built in for you. You can also just start watching the video. You notice that her mouth, like this character is not animated. The reason is the animation actually happens after you start generating the video. This is just a place, kind of the interim place where you can actually tweak anything that you want to change. I like what we we're talking about. Cropping, trimming. You can also change up the text. You can simply just like program designed to, you know, blah, blah, blah. You can just add it. And from there, you know, there are some spell corrections and whatnot. But basically, you can turn the script into something that you want. Right? You don't have to just adapt what's already there. But I'm going to go ahead and take a quick moment, just remove the logos and change things up. And by the way, there's also music, uh, music libraries um, that you can have a listen to and make sure that sounds good. Not only you can choose music, you can also change the volume. Usually I tend to play music at like 10 to 20%. It really depends um, on, you know, the music itself. Sometimes they're just leveled differently. You can preview all the songs as well. So sometimes just because the name says something like Pursue You or Love Song actually has nothing really to do with it because it's not lyric uh, based. I'm just going to say Add. And now you can see it's changed the volume. I think it's OK. Also, anytime you want to change the slide, you know, you may like the template, but you, you want the scene to have a slightly a different background, you can go into scene here and just change it up. You also notice that anytime you're looking at the slide and you click on a particular element, let's say text here on the right hand side. Now this panel, this editor refreshes, you have all these options to choose from. So you can adapt your own company like brand font and size and opacity. You can create a shadow if you want to. So there are a lot of options you can consider. All right, let's give it a go. Welcome to Microsoft for Startups, an incredible program designed to unlock a universe of free benefits for creators and founders. In the throes of new age work trends, founders are emerging in waves, no longer satisfied to bench their ideas. They are ready to take action. Microsoft for Startups presents an unrivaled opportunity by offering substantial free credits, access to industry expertise, and tools, all free of charge. As startup founders ourselves, we'll be sharing our personal insights through Pod Intelligence, an AI-powered content creation tool for webinars and tutorials. It's important to understand that Microsoft for Startups is not about tossing you a cash boost. Instead, they offer you formidable and scalable resources. All right, so what do I think of this? I think one thing to pay attention to, especially for your slides, is especially the beginning and the end, right? Because you want to open, making a sound as natural as possible, capturing key points. And so the good news is Synthesia is already doing a lot of that for you. But for instance, I can look at the opening slide and go, right? I could also think about like using, you know, Google, uh, simply Googling uh, images related to Microsoft for startups and see if there are any key images I might be able to or want to introduce to the slide or any logos, for instance. So, you know, these things could be really interesting, maybe worth uh, considering. So, for instance, I can just go ahead and save this image, download that real quick and pop it right into my design. So right here and on the following slide, you know, I think that's actually pretty good. And this one, I kind of would like to change this media. Why not? So here, what I can do is upload media. 
after I click on media, add this image, right? You see it, now it's just an element on the page. What I can do is move it like so, and now I can change the position and move it back. So to do that, I right click on this image and say, send backward. So now it's behind her. I can also move her, right? If I don't want her to basically, you know, block anything important, I can move her to this position. I can also, by the way, resize her if I want to, but I actually kind of like it like this. So that's it. You can change as many elements as you choose to. Like if you find, you know, these images redundant because I know it already appeared in slide two, now I can make slide or scene five slightly different. If I were to give any feedback, I would say try to use different images for the background. I think just visually that is more interesting. So for, you can also, of course, like drag and drop the scenes and change the order of them as well. Um, and for this one, I would say media based on what is being talked about. So if I click on this real quick, so I'm going to click on media again. And this time I want to use not just images, but video. So under Shutterstock, I want to say, you know, startup or business. That's sort of the um, thinking behind it. So any of this is better, I think. So let's just click on that and then add this. You do want to double check to make sure it's not distracting or too busy for the slide that you have. Again, I'm going to click on the image and say send backward. Okay, that's pretty cool, I think. And let this be what we have for now. Once you're done, just click on this blue button that says generate. Let me move myself out of the way. And here's the title. You can enter a description. You can also choose whether you want to include captions or not. Uh, typically, I choose not to because depending on where I'm uploading this asset to, you know, if it's LinkedIn or YouTube, sometimes people will prefer the built-in captions on the platform. Certain platforms even turn on captions by default. You don't want the text to be too busy or having them conflict with one another. So once you click on generate, now you're sent back to basically kind of your dashboard under videos. You can see that your all your projects are here and how much more time you have remaining before you can uh, witness and watch the video. There are a couple of tweaks, you know, things like I missed out on a logo, removing a logo, things like that. But now I want to show you the video is done. What do you do now? So number one, you have the ability to download these assets. So right under the three dots, you can download the entire video, which is about two minutes long, or you can download just the audio portion. You can download just the subtitles. You can duplicate it. You can even translate it into other languages, which is pretty trippy. You can also save this as a template to reuse in the future. You can also share it with your team. So sharing and collaboration is something that Synthesia has been focusing and will continue to focus on in 2024. So I'm going to click on share. And here you can see that you can add people and your team members, maybe clients by their emails. You can choose that they can comment and can invite them into this workspace. And it's very clear that you are the owner of the video. Now, last but not least, I'm going to show you publish. So here to publish the video, you can create a access link right here. So turn this uh, button on. And also you just saw a sneak peek into analytics right now. There's no view. And um, so turn on public access here and you have two options. You can copy the link or you can copy the embed code. I'm going to show you in a minute how to embed this video very easily without having to download or upload to YouTube and it just be right there on your website, which I love. You can also have additional uh, page options here. You can allow videos to be duplicated. You can also include a call to action. Now for affiliate marketers out there, you want people to really see or, you know, access something very quickly. For instance, I want people to, you know, click and access Microsoft for startups right away. Maybe the get started page, I can include it here. So let me show you uh, exactly how I do that. This is the link. And what I can do is this is the button I'm going to do copy link address and um, the call to action is get started with Microsoft. So let's come back to the studio here. I can check the link and here get started with Microsoft for startups. Now this is not an affiliate link, in fact, and it doesn't have to be an affiliate link share page option. So this video is right here. And remember that call to action, that button is only available for this page. It's actually not available if I just, you know, embed the code on my uh, blog, copy embed code. Let me show you here inside WordPress. All I have to do on this page is click on edit post. 
And here you can decide where you want that video to show up. To be honest, if I were to manually create the video, I tend to push it up like towards the top of the page. Maybe after I explain what is Microsoft for a startup, free credit to scale your business. And, you know, here before all the blabbing, all the, you know, all the text that comes into play, uh, video tutorial. So this is video, video assist. I almost want to use the same name as like AI video assistant. Um, I think that's kind of cool. And so here next I want to do is simply drop in a custom HTML block. Do that. I drop in the code, check it out. I click on preview and here's a video. It's that simple. And on top of that, I just want to mention you saw under analytics. So as I'm dropping this video on my blog post, I can continue to measure this after seven days, 14 days, who knows months from now. And so that's it. I can give it, uh, you know, a, a quick introduction. I can thank and now all you have to do is click on update. While it's updating, you can watch the video. That's it. Please let me know in the comments below how you like this feature, how you plan on using it. And I would love to see the work created by you. If you like this video, please check out the next video for Synthesia when you're ready to move on more customized elements and process and creating something from scratch. I'm going to see you right there.